Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon uh, Leaf Green. I almost got it that time. I had a vision <laughs> of your arrival. I was uh, already uncomfortably, um, like, dominant in the original anime, and I just I was, got sexier. I was gonna say, like, can we talk about how fucking amazing this episode is? Uh, yeah, you get the best gym trainer episode, and don't yeah. give me any of that, oh, but Blaine was on a volcano. Like, yeah, I understand. Yes, that's fucking astonishing and badass. Yeah, but, like, come on. Come everybody remembers this. It, this everybody remembers this sequence of three episodes you had on VHS. Yeah, it was it was fucking awesome. To the point where I might just make the thumbnail of the VHS cover. Of... <laughs> I love it. Yeah, like you know what you came in for. This might be uh this might be the Gary show. The Gary hello, it's me Gary. <laughs> Welcome to the Gary show. Aw, oh, but now you raise your defense. I'm one of those I'm one of those uh TV ventures where they didn't know what the premise wanted to be, <laughs> but, but they knew that I was funny, so then they gave me thirteen episodes. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these episodes. Yeah, yeah. You used barrier and I still fucking killed you. Oh my god. I put up a wall. Why do you have a Venomoth? You crushed me. Why do you have a Venomoth? Isn't it psychic type? Venomoth? No, it's a bug poison. I'm it might be psychic type. I don't know what I'm talking about. That was dumb with me. Well, you had to get ready because of the barrier you just killed that man with. He should have he should have put a door in the barrier Yay. to avoid getting crushed by psychic bricks. <laughs> Goodbye, weird bug. Molasses. So yeah, so so what are your thoughts on that idea that um the butterfree chain and the vent on that chain are switched? Not that big a like that. Is it that Metapod should have turned into Venomoth? Yeah. Well, well, no, it, it was that Venonat should have turned into Butterfree. Well, I don't know. The, the colors aren't that different. Yeah, but the eyes are the same. And what? Butterfree's body is purple, and Venonat's body is purple. Well, then they, they can, I don't know, like... I and that's Venomoth so looks a lot more like uh, Caterpie than Butterfree does. I don't really care that much when it comes to the bugs, but I was a big fan of Golduck, so I always that bothered me. Yeah, and that that is a true name uh, mishap, I think. But it was side duck. No, but I, I people, I think it's been debunked, right? I that that uh, the the Venonet one has been debunked. Right. Um, but the side Golduck thing, I, I I don't know if that has or not. Well, the the Soul Badge and the Marsh Badge, you could look that up and see if that's a, a mess. Because the soul badge should be psychic, and the marsh badge should be I'm, I'm fucking around. Yeah, well, fucking around in the poison area. Yeah. Um, I'm noticing as we look around at these prints, the yeah. one thing that's, that I notice is that I will be moving to those instant seal uh, prints, like the ones that have the tape that you can just fold down and stick instead of making your own adhesive. Oh. Cause yeah, I mean, these were like... So much cheaper. Oh, the and you got them. With, you got them out of your work, right? No, uh, these ones I didn't know. This one I got uh, from Amazon. Amazon. Well, we're gonna. You didn't even tell me what your TM did. Oh, oh thank God. Okay. Made it. Hey, welcome back, everybody. I knew once I got in that room, I'd be fine. Okay, but uh, one time we we didn't we didn't uh, do the up down rule, and uh, I thought we might be trapped in there forever, which you know is is faithful to the show. Yes. Um, where are we going now? At least we weren't, uh, turned into dolls. Yeah, where are we going now, everybody? Uh, well, I don't know. That kind of depends. Do you want to, uh, go to Cinnabar right now, or...? What are our options? I wouldn't go to Cinnabar. Okay. Yeah, let's go meet some new Pokemon. I have nothing going on, guys. I, I just realized, like, I, okay, so I went through a period, and I hate to be, like, kind of serious here. I went through a period where I was like, oh, god, man, having to put up episodes all the time kind of sucks. But then, you know, we had this long weekend, and, uh, I don't know, well, it's coming back. We had, we had a bit of a growth spurt, and, uh, we're here playing every Pokemon game ever made. I think just in general with art, you got to decide, you know, what, what you want to devote your time to. Yeah. It's, and on, yeah, like, like, I don't, I, I even told Jerry, I'm like, you know, I can do art, and I can do Let's Play shit, but, you know, I have a limited amount of time. Right. Oh, the water has died a deep blue. Look at these two people over here. Have <laughs> Just chilling. They're kissing each other and... I am not catching a tentacle. It's not happening. No? Okay. Um, You're not even worth the PP it would take to kill you. PP. No. Yes, that is a joke. Isn't it funny? Well, fuck it. I want to know what you're doing. What's your <laughs> life been? I'm I just sitting here talking to myself. 
I have one uh, one week left before my life just becomes absolutely full of crazy. Oh yeah, shit. you're gonna. I, I I don't think I'll ever have this moment, but you are definitely gonna have this moment where uh, you're like, God, was pre-pandemic this shitty? <laughs> well, so I mean, we're finally back on a regular summer schedule at the museum, which means classes and uh, all the other stuff we do in the summer. And so not only is my work week schedule completely full in June, but I have something to do every weekend as well. For the entire June? For the entirety of June, yes. God, you're just... Though one of those weekends may be now freed because circumstances that I won't go into. But... Whoa, circumstances. Yeah, I want to surf. It's not dyed deep blue, it's called just being blue. Here's the Kyogre. That's, yes. that's why I said I flew on Kyogre, because when you swim, it looks like Kyogre. It does look like a little Kyogre, yes. In the first one, it looked like a little Lapras, no matter what Pokemon it oh, was. Oh yeah, their sprite work was really messed it was up. It's really cute. I don't think I quite uh, am ashamed of naming our Lapras dumb idiot in the previous <laughs> episode. No, that's fine. Don't be, don't, don't feel shame. Honestly, if I could flap around and just float in the water, I would call myself a dumb idiot. I'm a dumb idiot. I'm Poliwhirl. I'm I eat so much candy. I'm a dumb idiot. I'm Poliwhirl. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we watch all of Black and White? Why did we watch all of Black and White? You know what's the worst thing is that we're was gonna that watch... the old apartment or at your parents' house? It was. Where the fuck was? I think it was here, and I think I remember getting mad. I don't know. I don't know. I, I my it, 20... it must have been pretty pretty recently. I'm about to turn thirty. And my 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 twenties are beginning to blend together because all the time that we spent at my parents' house, yeah, it just it that's all we did was I would go to a shitty job and then we would come home and I don't know Netflix something. Yeah, and, and you'd just do random stuff. So yeah, yep, we are uh, rapidly approaching the point where we're leaving our twenties. That's it. I mean, I, that, after that, I'll be dead. Just nobody no. acts like either super depressed or like it's this some epic rite of passage. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Honestly, yeah, honestly, number? 30s. It, yeah, you, you get you get excited or worried about the 30s. And, wow, you're just there. Yep, I well, took the short route. I feel like they added more buildings, right? Um, I don't know. Because the first we'll thing, look at our Capito. Think first... of a name for Capito. Oh shit. Okay, uh, Capito's the. Um, He's the one that looks like a little horseshoe crab. Yes, I like horseshoe crabs. I think they're terrifying, but they're super cute. That's a also. weird name for a sexually transmitted disease for horses. Um, fuck off. <laughs> I'm still thinking. You got me excited. Oh, I'm going to talk to this old man instead. God, that's really cool. Oh, I forgot the Pokemon Mansion's here. Yes. This is, I got, I got, like... Hello, sir. Honestly, that, that trip in the water wasn't nearly as crazy as I thought it would no, be. No, if you leave from Pallet, it's pretty easy. Uh, the road from Fuchsia is pretty rough. <laughs> Didn't we just do the road from... Oh, I... No, we took from Pallet. Mm. No, I'm not going to trade you a right you for an electrode, the cock! Mo stupid motherfucker's got a sharp-ass tail! You ever want to be a mouse and the thing from Alien? What? Sharp tail? Do you have a Venonat? Want to trade it for my Tangela? Oh, it's just a bunch of tr trade people. This is where I started to get a little confused with the game because when I walked in here, they were offering all kinds of trades. Oh yeah. The best trade in the game is the guy who'll give you a Jinx for a Poliwhirl. Need to run a beat? Metronome! I don't think any of my Pokemon can learn it anyway. Okay. That is fun when you have a Togepi. And you just play and oh, you know, roll the die. What kind of shit's gonna come out of the walls now? Yes, Dr. Togepi used Roar of Time. Dr. Pepper fits. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Don't be used roar of time. Don't be used service industry. Do you have a ponytail? I want to trade it for my seal. No. That really is just named Seal. Yes. Hi. Hiya. Here, I study rare. Po oh, this is the guy we want. Okay. You have you a fossil for uh, me? I don't know why I always imagine this guy as a French accent. <laughs> oh wow! When you so, take you hurry and give me that. How wild is that? I take a little time. You go for a walk a little while. Okay. Oh, I'll think of the name. Okay. okay. So it's so weird that like. I don't know what I'm thinking. It's just that you get that fossil before the second gym, and you don't do anything with it till the seventh gym. Yes. That's kind of neat. Yep, you just kind of hang on to it. Do you want to fight the gym leader? Uh, we can try, or we can go hang out in the mansion. Oh, oh my god, oh my- Little Haley. Okay, can, can I just pop in here for just a second? Oh, okay. So Little Haley uh, was so fucking excited when she found out that this mansion is the decimated lab from, uh, or, or no, 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 it's, it's, it has a lot of mythology related to the original Pokemon movie. The first one. Okay. This is where you find all of these little, uh... Hints? Uh, all these little journals about Mew. 
Oh yeah. And and, and you find out that like yeah, the, uh, it was the cre I believe it was creation of Mewtwo that fucked up this place. Okay. Well, yeah, this is where we so found it just out. made me do a hat. This is where you found out that Mewtwo's birthday was February six. Uh, I never knew that. Well, I I did because I'm on the internet. Babe. Hi, friends. Hello, juggler. I can tell. No, he's wearing a hat. Sorry. I'm babe. pretty sure it's the youngster. <laughs> okay, he was wearing. I thought he had like the spiky hair. Yeah, youngsters have those little yellow hats. I wonder if that's a relation to the the little uh, yellow hats kindergartners wear. To protect your head and also to see where the baby children are. Yes, in Japan they have these cute little yellow hats. Youngster Johnson was trying to rip copper out of the walls. <laughs> Youngster Johnson set out Ekans. His snake died. He returned to pulling copper out of the walls. It's great. My brother, when he was real little, not real little, he, he, was, he was younger. Uh, he was 15, he didn't have anything better to do. He would get a ball of copper and just keep any copper he found in this big old, like, fistful garbage thing of copper the size of, like, a softball. Was he gonna, like, sell it Exactly, or yeah. Oh. It was gonna be like, because like, he heard that you could sell copper for money. Yeah, well, you could sell any metal for money. Yeah, but it was one of those, like, you know, I'm gonna use this to get money. But he didn't understand, kind of, or he didn't click for him how, uh... It's not a good return on investment for your time. No. Like how I stopped picking up pennies. Yes. So your mom uh, still collects pens, I see. Ah, uh, that's a that's a, a psychosis. <laughs> that's not for. <laughs> no, she has like a legitimate problem that she needs help. Yeah, with. no, she's not. Se she's not <laughs> selling the pens. No. I'm really sorry about what you learned about me and pens when we started dating. Oh my god. We do, we've told that story of the jester, so I won't go over it. It's but. okay. I want all of the- I want the fe- <laughs> Oh! You know what's really cool is, um, no, it's- it- honestly, this is, this is a kind of a really pedantic shitty story, but, uh- Oh, oh okay, right yeah, on. Uh, I, I can't, absolutely cannot wait with an intro like that. Okay. Um, so, uh, when I was in my car accident, the principal of the school brought me this, like, puzzle book or whatever, of, oh, like, yeah? you know, read the, the short two-page story and figure out who did the bad thing, who's the- who's the culprit. Yeah. And one of them was like, oh, I left a fountain pen uh, at the scene of the crime. And Johnny was like, what the fuck is a fountain yeah, pen? Yeah, what is a fountain pen? I remember being really confused on that, too. What is it? I still didn't quite know. So uh, a fountain pen is, uh, you're familiar with ballpoint pens. A fountain pen has a has a metal tip. Um, and, the, and the idea of it is it was the first pen where uh, it has like a little reservoir of ink inside it. Okay. So it functions like a ballpoint pen, except it has a metal tip and uh, it kind of like scratches what you're writing on. God, the guy who invented the ballpoint pen, he better be a billionaire. Like, yeah. Right? And, uh, but, well, I mean, and before that, people were using quills as pens. Oh, we went straight to ballpoint pens. Uh, no, we went straight to fountain pens. Oh. And then the ballpoint pen was invented. I think. I'm pretty sure, anyway. You Let's really... go check on our friend. Have you thought of a great name no, for him? No, no, I've. I, oh, God. Um. <laughs> Uh, Cause there isn't enough time to go to some. To I, no, it's not. Give me a sec. I, I got it. No, it's your fossil is back to life. It's really, it's really dumb. I promise. It's really, it's really dumb. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's no. Hey, it's, this was the boy. Oh god. <laughs> My fucking. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There you go. Death egg. Death egg. <laughs> if you tried to crack that over your stove, he would fucking get inside your <laughs> your, your your arm, uh, <laughs> like like uh, scarab style. Even though that's not a thing they do. Oh, gross. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Gross. <sighs> it's not the, a fan. The only thing worse than those uh, effects is my cringe at having that bug inside me, guys. That's been two more episodes of uh, Pokemon Leaf Green. Coming up next time. Hey, we're we gonna... get some good progress. And we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight. Just just. Oh. The door. Oh, we gotta go to Sea Foam. Sea. Oh. We gotta go to Sea Foam Island. Gotta go find the foam. Oh, we're not quite doing a gym now. But, oh, wait, uh, no. I think maybe he's in Pokemon. I don't know. We're gonna look it up and uh, figure out what to do next time. And this is how Googling works and how uh, interstitials work. Yeah. For all the credits.